Welcome back to Metal Mondays. And this week, I went to Spookables. They have a lot of cool stuff there, uh, horror-related stuff, and toys, and everything in between movies and stuff. But they also got some metal CDs. So yes, I had to pick up some metal CDs. And he had a sale, too. The sale was 30% uh, off. So most of the CDs were six bucks. Uh, but after the 30% off, it was like four something. I only spent like 28 bucks for all these, so I had a, got a real good deal on them. And I watched them. Okay, this is what I got at Spookables. Um, yes, he puts them in these cool bags. Check his bag out. Yeah, I had to keep this. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Uh, yeah, really cool bag to put your merchandise in. But yeah, like I said, he had some heavy metal CDs, so I decided to pick up a few since he had this sale going on. First one needs no introduction. It's Slayer's uh, Rain and Blood. Yes, classic album. Expanded edition here. That's the back. Love that shot of the band right there. Great songs on this one. Of course, you got Angel of Death, Piece by Piece. Of course, Rain and Blood, Criminally Insane. I mean, just some cool stuff on here. This album's classic. If nothing else, Rain and Blood. The song itself, I always say that uh, it's probably the best metal song uh, straight out of the 80s there. But uh, it's put out by American Recordings. This is one of them Rick Rubin produce. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I've had this album before. Got rid of it and got it back now. So there's one of them that I picked up from him. Uh, next up, Slave to the Grind, uh, Skid Row. I'm thinking I have this on cassette. I'm not for sure. Of course, it's got Slave to the Grind on it, Psycho Love. Um, Mud Kicker, yeah. Wasted Time, Monkey Business. Came out in 1991, uh, Atlantic Records. I'm, I'm thinking I do have this one. I might not have it. I don't know, on cassette. I know I got one of theirs on cassette, so... But uh, yeah, classic uh, cover there from the Skid Row. Uh, next up is Dawkin. This is uh, Back for the Attack. Uh, it, it had to grab this one. It has Night by Night, uh, Mr. Scary, So Many Tears, Burn, Burning Like a Flame, uh, Cry of the Gypsy, and of course, Dream Warriors, the last one on there, number 13. You can't go wrong with that one 1987 here recently i've been picking up a lot of stuff from that uh, era right there 1987 but that's the inside of that one docking back for the attack also got another classic right here i think this one's from 1990 painkiller a uh, judas priest um, pretty damn heavy for judas priest at the time i thought uh, always loved this one it's got painkiller all guns blazing, a touch of evil, uh, night crawler between the hammer and the anvil, one shot at glory. Pretty damn good album. Love painkiller. I saw a guy in Walmart the other day that had a uh, hoodie that had this on the back of it and everything, real cool. And on the sides of it, it said painkiller and stuff. Uh, looked pretty vintage. I don't know how old it was. Of course, this one's got the broke uh, thing there. I tried to switch the back of this because it had stickers on it. I hate stickers from anywhere and um, there must be a trick to that because I can't ever get the damn cover back on it. I end up breaking it so I have to get another one for this one. But anyway, that's Painkiller, Judas Priest. Uh, next two are from the same band. This is uh, Graveyard Classics 3, uh, Six Foot Under. Uh, this is one of them cardboard things. Uh, I'm not Never really got into Six Foot Under, but I, I'm trying to expand my horizon here. This is the Metal Blade Records. Uh, this is what I was talking about, Jason. Spookable stickers. This definitely was hard to get off, and it's still not coming all the way off. I might be able to get it off later. Um, but, yeah, I hate that stuff, man. Uh, anyway, produced by Chris Barnes. This is, um, I think this came out in 2000. Ain't really 10, I think, right there. Like I said, I never really got into them, but uh, I'm going to check them out. Uh, then this one right here is another one of theirs right here. And the back of that one, which I did get the sticker off of this one, of course, produced by Chris Barnes, too. Uh, Metal Blade Records. 
Resurrection of the Rotten, The Evil Eye, Zombie, Executioner, Doomsday. Yeah, sounds like some good stuff right up my alley. This one's from 2000, I think, 7. I don't know how many albums they have. Like I said, I'm new to them. I have to check them out. See how many they got. And last one up is uh, Mudvayne. I'm not sure what the damn title of this one is. It's so damn red and such small ass writing. I don't know. I have to freak put my freaking glasses on to uh, check this one out. But uh, yeah, this is only second my vein. I think that one's upside down. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no wonder. Uh, the beginning of all things to end. Maybe that's the name of the album. That's what I believe it is. But this is upside down. No wonder I couldn't read the shit. Uh, anyway, I got to change that and flip it around the right way. Who the hell did that? But, uh, yeah, I have another. I think I have the first album I picked up at a, uh, like a Goodwill thrift store or something or whatever. So I decided to pick this one up. And since it's upside down, I can't really read when this one came out. But, yeah. Anyway, this is all the stuff that I picked up at uh, Spookables on his uh, sale. I got them all for like 28 bucks. You can't beat that. Some good metal stuff, some new stuff, and some old stuff. I like a little bit of everything in between. Metal Mondays, you'll hear everything here. Heavy metal, or it'd be hard rock. A little bit of everything. That's it for this video. Till next time, keep banging your heads.